I had an opportunity to speak to several cab drivers, several cab operators on the Cable Beach Strip, talking about the economic impact of the COVID-19. Let's listen in. All day we had about two jobs. All day, on, on a given day, we could have you know some nice jobs, multiple jobs. Uh, business is being heavily affected. Uh, I'm hearing that guests, are, some guests, are trying to get out of the country. You know, so business is really affected right now. I've been out here now, going on for like, me and I've been out here from the same from early this morning up to now. You know. A severe situation, uh, had an opportunity to speak to several cab drivers on the, several cab operators on the Cable Beach trip, and they were just awesome, and they were honest and, and shared a lot of information with me uh, last night. Now, uh, Shane Gibson, if you can just get a shot of that uh, stand right here, the sanitizer wash statement uh, station, Sanitizing station, a number of them have been erected in strategic spots in New Providence. Uh, and that goes to show you what's happening now and how the environment is changed around here. And the gentlemen are responsible for erecting those sanitizers, uh, sanitizing wash stations is Franklin Munro. He's the CEO and president of Impact Waste. Come along right here. Joining me live on the broadcast here this evening. Good evening to you, and how are you doing? I'm excellent. Actually, I'm the general manager of Impact Waste. I'm doing excellent, actually. You're a lo local entrepreneur. Talk about the impact of COVID-19 on local entrepreneurs in the Bahamas. Uh, local entrepreneurs, obviously, where there is less traffic in an area, less business, uh, we're obviously going to be experiencing a downturn in the economy. Uh, right now, we are looking at how do we help our employees uh, impact waste is in the essential services business, so obviously we're going to be on this road. Uh, we've erected some of the uh, sanitation stations at various locations, particularly at Princess Margaret Hospital as well. So we be, uh, we're going to be on the road all day collecting residential garbage as well as commercial garbage. Now this is a labor of love. Uh, this is all part of giving back to the community, right? Excellent. Yeah, Impact Waste, uh, we, we do things like this all of the time. And so we found it uh, very timely, given the coronavirus epidemic, to give back in our own particular way. So this is one of the ways that we're giving back to the community. All right. Very good, and congratulations. So that's the situation down here, Prince George, Prince George Wharf. A very quiet situation, not much activity, as I said earlier. Keishla, back to you in the studio.